Hey y'all, I thought I'd get the first stereotype out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dawn Burks with Gala.com here with the Real Housewives of Dallas, the yeah. cast. Yeah. Um, beside me, I have Brandy Redman, and this is Stephanie Holman, and it's Carrie Duber, and Tiffany, and Leanne, yeah. and you guys don't know what you're in for, and I hope you tune in, <laughs> but I've got a few questions for them. So. Was last night the first time that you guys saw the show together? No. no. Together. Well, together. 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 Yes, together. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Were you looking for reactions? I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes I would look over and, um, you know, there are certain parts where I was interested. Like when Brandy mimics Leanne, I'm not going to lie, I looked over at Leanne. Yeah. Maybe she was laughing. <laughs> no, I looked, I looked yeah, over at you guys, too. I was laughing. Too. She was laughing, yeah. I was okay. enjoying the heck out of it. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so you liked what you saw among yeah. other people, because that's a different feeling from watching it on your own, right? Yeah. yeah I was yeah. nervous. Yeah, I was yeah. really nervous. Yeah. So Dallas seems like such a natural fit for this franchise, and I often wonder why it wasn't like the first one. Do you guys have any thoughts yeah. on that? Putting it together, it's with they. Bravo has certainly tried, as a, other production companies mm -hmm. have tried to put groups together. Um, I've actually been in a previous group that they tried to pitch together. It's just finding the right group of women who all interact in a certain way to create the Housewives brand. Okay. I think they just needed all of us. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was right when it was right. That's right. Yeah. Is what you're saying. The episodes that I've managed to watch. When I see you, I see this woman who is like, hey, I have a career, yeah. you know. So housewife becomes almost a misnomer, and it almost seems that way for all of you. You know, for me, um, I graduated um, from Texas Women's University, and I was a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, and then I also took on a career with the Department of Defense. And I chose, after my second child, to stay at home because I knew this was going to be my last baby, and I wanted to enjoy every moment of that. And so it was the biggest blessing that my husband could have given me. But it is the hardest job. Job. Out of everything yes. that I've ever done, it is also yes. the hardest job. It definitely tests their patience, but I'm so glad, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, and my husband runs a huge company um, in Las Colinas and has a few hundred employees, and he has had to kind of take over my job while we've been promoting the show, and he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they are so much harder, those two kids, yeah. than the 200 employees I have to yeah. run. I can operate it's all day lot. and yeah. go home, and I'm like, oh, I'm a three-year-old, and my right. stepkids, and I'm like, oh, I don't know which makes me more tired. Right. It's, your second yeah. it's a toss-up, yeah. yeah. So how have your lives changed besides that? That brings me right to that question. How have your lives changed, Leanne? Um, honestly, my life, I, other than having, you know, the world invited in to really put a microscope on me and my life, my life hasn't really changed. I mean, I love what I do. I'm out in the, in the charity world doing my thing and being me and, you know, managing my brand and my inspiration. I, I post inspirational posts every day. My life hasn't really changed. I don't, I, I don't see my life hopefully changing too much. I mean, other than everybody now gets to look at it as opposed to just you know the city so I'm excited for it I'm excited for what I can do as far as having a bigger voice to be able to help some of the smallest charities in our city Definitely. so and that's actually the best advice Erica Jane gave us she said you know you got to live your life the cameras are now turned on your life and you're gonna be living your life when the cameras go away so I think if, if you let it kind of overtake everything and the show becomes your life you're gonna be it's dangerous really it's dangerous sad. So just continue to live your life and and I, everything will be great. I've, I've definitely just had to juggle a lot more. <laughs> you know, that's about it. That's yeah. just, you know, it's just more responsibilities. Several of you came on board to the show already with really close friendships. And how did, how did, you, how did you find any challenges expanding that to include a group of five? I will say, uh, obviously, once you watch the show, you'll know that we've had a long friendship, they've had a long friendship, but I think it's, we're, we're such a unique, diverse group, and I think that when we all get together, surprisingly, there's a little bit of drama there, there's a little bit of humor there, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I mean, we've had so much fun doing this press together, we actually laughed and cried together mm -hmm. in LA, and so, really, I think, you know, I think we have something in common in a lot of ways, like, uh, I mean, I have so much respect for everyone and their stories and yeah so I, I yeah. don't know. 
I we're mean, in this the healthy out here, now. girls. <laughs> I mean, to become, you know, in the upper echelon of the Bravo franchises, yeah. I just look at it as this uh, incredible sorority. So even we met Nini, Ramona, Dorinda, and all of that. And it's just, you just have this sense of, you know, that we're a sisterhood. So, yeah, equal yeah. respect yeah. for everyone. And I, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I kind of came in as, you know, the lone wolf. <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I knew the ladies, but I didn't have a bestie on the show. But I feel like I've really expanded relationships and made even closer friends. So it's been really nice to just grow in friendship. Well, it's been so great having you guys here today. Anything else you want to add? No. Just that, you know what, we're so blessed and we know what a huge blessing this is. And we hope that the city of Dallas will understand we aren't trying to represent all of everyone. We're just kind of representing ourselves and we're really here just to entertain you. Thank you again. Thank, Thank you so much. much. I really appreciate it. Anytime you want to reach out, I'm here. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you.